Right, so today's job, I'm going to be building my bed. I've been out and bought some timber sheeting, or like, uh, timber planks out there. It's going to be a full length bed, uh, seating area as well. And it's going to be pull out, so it will move all the way, almost to the full width of the units. Probably not all the way to them, but pretty close. Uh, it'll probably be well over three foot wide. So it should be relatively comfy, I've done the same sort of thing in my last van. Uh, work nicely so I'm going to start cutting up the wood get the basic frame together and uh, see how it looks and go from there right, so that's the basic frame I'm going to be going for that's about 55 centimeters wide and then it's going to be another pull out section beyond that as well I'm just going to get this basic frame screwed together and uh, then I can start building the supports and the slats I'm probably going to put a full sheet of ply going across there as well so when the slats are then going across the runners, when you're pulling them out, it can't fall down beneath them. So it's just another method to try and get that mechanism of pulling it in and out that little bit smoother and without them just tumbling in all the time. So I'm going to get all this screwed together and uh, see how it comes together. So that's the frame screwed together. It's going to have brackets in each corner as well, just to be doubly sure. Obviously, you don't want it falling apart while I'm on it. Uh, but it's practically a full two metre high bed as well, so there's, uh, that'll fit pretty much anybody. Obviously, I'm 6'3, so I want to be making sure that I'm going to fit fine. But this is me standing straight up, and it's well above me there, so there should be plenty of room when it's all mounted. So I'm going to put some brackets in each of the corners. And then I'll start uh, building the frame around. Right, so that's the main frame built. As I say, that's what everything's going to be sitting on top of. I've cut some 4 mil ply. Now that's going to sit underneath the upper frame that's going to sit on top of the main supporting frame. And that means it'll be able to lift up and down to be able to get access underneath. But it also means when the slats are getting pulled out, they won't be falling through the hole underneath. Because they'll just be running along the ply back and forward. So I'm now going to cut the smaller frame out of the wood that I've got there and say so that's going to sit on top of this main supporting frame and that's the one that's going to then have the slats attached to it. That's going to then run along a hinge along the back part of the frame and that will allow it to tilt up and down. So I'm going to crack on and get the rest of the upper part of the frame built now and uh, see how it looks. Alright, that's the upper frame starting to come together now. I've put it so there's plenty of overlap space because there's going to be another one of these planks sat there and that's going to be the one that pulls out with additional slats as well. So leaving plenty of overhang uh, leaves a nice solid structure for it to rest on. As it, uh, I've left a bit of a gap on the other side as well because I'm going to have a hinge going all the way along there and you need a bit of space to be able to rotate the back up because if it's right at the back and you try and put a hinge on it, it's just going to hit the wall straight away so that needs to be a bit further forward, leaving a good inch if you can and then by the time you put a hinge underneath there it should have plenty of room to open up really deeply inside possibly even all the way so now I'm going to screw these bits together and then I'll be able to attach the ply bits that I cut out underneath and then it'll be time for slatting Right, so I'm just about to start cutting all the slats down. Uh, those are all slats that came out of Caravan, uh, so I know they're perfectly fine, perfectly weight bearing, and there's going to be enough for them as well. So they're all going to need cutting down because the Caravan bed was a bit wider than what I'm making this. So they're all going to be cut down to about 50 centimetres, but obviously by the time you pull it out, that's still going to be up to about 90, 95 centimetres when it's doubled out. So I'm going to get all these cut down and get them se secured on. So I've been back out to the timber merchants and bought the extra bar that I needed, or the extra plank that's going to be the pull-out bar. I'm just about to start now securing all of the uh, every other slat 
and they are the ones that are going to be extending out. So I'm just going to sc uh, screw all of these to this and then this should be, then be ready to start getting mounted to the frame inside. So that's the bed top frame completely finished now. Uh, I've tested it, it does pull out and in back fine. As I say, now it just needs mounting onto the actual frame itself. But if I set the camera up, I'll just show you just how easy it is just to pull it in and out. And it's time to get it mounted in the van. As you can see that's a nice uh, smooth action when it's coming in and out and because I've got the ply, this really thin 4mm ply just uh, screwed to the underside it means when you're pulling the uh, top slats out that supporting bar going along can't just fall straight through the gap but because it's actually mounted to this side of the frame when I then put the hinges on the underside the full thing will then still be able to just lift up from the frame and back down so it's just another handy easy tip just to have that little bit smoother mechanism when you're using the bed. So that's the general base frame all in place now. Uh, I'm just going to uh, reattach a few more securing brackets here and there just to be sure that it's going to be 100% weight bearing, although it's pretty solid as it is, as I say, it's uh, not moving at the moment. Uh, I've just got that support beam down the middle, I'm just about to secure that into place. I've just cut that one there so it's a bit loose. Uh, that's going to be going back, and I'm going to be uh, separating this part off, so that part is going to be uh, my gas heater, the Probex heater, and the battery bank. And then that area is just going to be for general storage and that will be classed as the underbed storage for the DVLA registration. So I'm just going to crack on and get a few more brackets and uh, supporting beams in place and uh, then it's going to be ready for the bed base to go on top of it. Right, so that's the frame all complete. It's fully strengthened, I've braced it all the way around with supporting leg beams going along on all the corners, all the sides and along the front as well and it's all secured to the floor to the metal work on the side panel as well so there's just no moving this frame now I've been giving it a good vigorous shake and all that happens is the van just shakes from side to side so I'm more than happy with how that's uh, fit and fixed, uh, fixed it in so now I'm about to mount the top of the bed hinge wise it's going to be uh, the continuous piano style hinge it's going to run full length I've had to buy uh, well I bought a pack so there's going to be two side by side running the entire length just to give it that strength when you're lifting the entire bed up and down I was just filming this but uh, the camera ran out of power but that's a good thing about working on the van that you've already done the electrics on and just plug it in and uh, continue so I'm going to uh, start mounting the piano hinge all the way along the easiest way to do it is probably on the bedside first uh, then I'll be able to mount it on the bed frame I just might need somebody just to hold it up uh, while I'm securing it I'll have to see how awkward it is but the uh, easiest way is just going to literally be just to fold the hinge all the way along so along and down like that so you know it's going to get a nice flush finish against the very edge of the actual beam as well so I'm going to secure all that down and then the bed will almost be done So that's the bed frame just about in place. I've secured all of the hinges going all the way along. So now I've just got to secure the uh, hinges to the frame itself. 
thankfully it folds up nicely just enough so I can get in and get into the hinges I'm going to be putting them pretty flush to the plank on that side so then it's going to give plenty of room for it to fold back up against the wall if you put the hinge too far back when you lift the lid the lid's just going to like the back end of the uh, the bed is just going to hit the wall straight away and you won't be able to lift it as high as you might need to so by running it along the front edge of the lip I know I'm always going to have plenty of room to be able to open and close the bed without any issues and then eventually I am going to have a gas strut on this as well so when it's opened you don't have to support it or anything but at the moment this is just there that's not a priority getting the bed made and working is so I'm now going to secure all of the screw holes for the piano hinge along there and then that is in effect a bed pretty much done Right, so other than some legs and the front fascia, that is the bed done. It's uh, really easy to lift up and down, one finger, so it's not heavy. As I say, I'll put a gas strut on the end anyway, just to support it when it is up. Uh, motion wise, it just slides straight out. It says there's just no resistance there. And, and because of that ply underneath, that bottom bar just can't fall through unlike uh, so many other beds I've seen online where they just don't bother putting en anything underneath and when you start pulling it out that bar just starts falling straight through and it just makes it a real pain just to start uh, pulling it in and out with that little bit of ply underneath and I say you can just pull it backwards and forwards and I say it's just straight in straight out so and I say I just need to get some legs ready for when it's in the pulled out position that's where it's going to come out to so I should still be able to shuffle in between just if I need to in between the bed and the unit uh, just in case you need to make a couple while the bed's out I should still be able to stand up next to the, next to, uh, the sink and the hob but as I say that's uh, not bad really timber wise it's probably only cost me about 20 quid 25 quid at most I say thankfully the slats were spare anyway but uh, that doesn't matter I say I, uh, on the previous bed I just made the slats from pallets of which you can easily get so making a bed like this doesn't cost much at all you could have uh, used reclaimed timber for all of it but with it being uh, going into a van where pretty much everything's going to be new I thought I might as well just uh, use new wood as well but as I say I'll pick it up after I've completely finished it off but that is the basics of uh, the pull out bed done Continuing with the bed, I've just made a full ply fascia for the front. I'm then going to have some doors made out of the same material that uh, everything else is made from. Uh, it's all sparkle, gloss black sparkle worktop. So they're going to be on hinges that will then flip down from the openings that I've made. But the fascia itself just hides away all of the framework from the bed. Uh, and then once the doors are on, it'll look nice and neat. I'll probably carpet this as well. Uh, but at the moment I'm just going to be getting it in place and uh, see how it looks. Right, so that is the bed frame all complete and fully working now. I've got the flip down front panels there for easy access to storage underneath. I've got the vents mounted in place for the Probex heater. That one again flips down for a large storage area underneath there as well. I have put some end caps on the end of the bed and carpeted those, as you can see down there, just to make it nice and neat so you can't see any of the exposed woodwork. Again, the same on the other side down next to the fridge as well. Just a little piece that goes in between the unit and the fridge unit. Again, carpeted off and with the plastic buttons in place as well, just to hide any screw holes. Again, it just makes it look that nice and neat a layout. Uh, leg wise, I've just put three static legs on and I've made the unit door so they fit in between them so as you can see there I've got a leg right next to that but it doesn't interfere with the door itself so the door just flips straight down gives good access underneath as you can see under that one as well I've already started filling it up with bits and bobs as it offers good useful space underneath and that's on top of my battery bank and that's the Propex heater under there as well so as you see there's plenty of space under both of those for plenty of utilities and then I've got a nice big deep locker under that one and that'll be for uh, clothing or whatever so plenty of storage space all just clips straight in and out so now I'll show you uh, getting the bed knocked up 
So bed wise, if it was just going to be myself going away, if I just needed just a single bed, I wouldn't actually bother taking the backrests with me. I would just take those out of the van and then that leaves me with a nice solid single bed straight away. Now for added comfort you do normally want to pull the plank out a little bit as uh, that's pushed right in at the moment just to give more walking room underneath but it, the mattress does hang over ever so slightly so that just wants pulling out a couple of inches and then that gives a nice solid two metre long uh, full single bed base. So I'll just get this pulled out and I'll show you that in action. Right, so that's the legs and the base just pulled out to a single width. As you can see, it's pulled it away just ever so slightly from the actual base itself, but it still leaves plenty of space to get the doors open and closed at the same time. So that's now a full width, full single bed, full two metres long. And I say that's really comfy as it is at the moment. I say it's, it could still be pulled out even more. It's not secured to the back at all, so it could just be pulled out if you wanted even more space. Just pull the bar further out. So to make it into a double, you just need to extend the bar even further and put the spare cushions behind the main mattress. So I'll just do that and I'll show you what it looks like when that's made up. And there we go, there's a double bed made up now as well. Let's see, there's a tiny little bit of room still in between, but not much in between the units. I've made it so it pulls out almost pretty much flush with the units, but you can still gain access to the fridge, to your main food cupboard, uh, to the utility area, and to the sink and hob at the same time. So, as I say, that's now pulled out into a full du uh, double bed with a uh, layout for inside the van. As I say, it's still full two metres long fully comfy there's no issues with this at all so now it's just a case of getting your quilt and pillows in and away you go so as i say that literally took less than a minute just to fully convert so now i'll just set the camera up and put it all back up just to show you how quickly it converts back into a sofa bed as well so i'll just put this back into a seat configuration literally what well, I don't know 10 seconds or so and it's back from its bed position straight back into its uh, sofa bed position now you can freely walk in between the van there's plenty of space in between here as well so there's no shoes with that at all and as I say it's a really nice really comfy really deep sofa so uh, this would easily house or seat for, for maybe five people in comfort as well because I say it's a really long sofa it's two meters long so there's plenty of room in it so I'll just take the mattresses off and I'll just show you underneath the bed as well and uh, that'll be my bed build. Yeah, so that's the full frame without any of the mattresses off. And as you can see every other slat is attached to this main bar and that's the one that pulls out to give the full extension. So as I say, it just pulls straight out and straight back in again. And as I say, that, that's not all the way out there, that's just a quick example just to show how easy it does actually pull and slide straight out. Straight back in again and uh, it's that easy, that simple. As I say, the, because I've got that ply sheet underneath, it means none of the boards are falling through when it's getting pulled in or out, which again makes it really easy just to use. Now I've just put a little retaining hoop on there, so then when I do lift it up, I can just clip that into the wall, and that retains the bed in the up position, which gives easy access to all the storage area underneath. So under there, as I say, I've got my Propex heater, I've got my battery bank, I've got some ramps for the wheels, emergency jump leads, emergency cooker, uh, first aid kit, and then I've got a full open area there for storage for clothing or whatever. There's also still plenty of storage above in the overhead locker as well, but part of the DVLA requirements for a camper van conversion is to have plenty of storage in the van, so that'll be plenty for them to sign off, especially along with the overhead locker as well. There you go, that's how I've made my bed, just with uh, some spare slats that I've had from a previous caravan, uh, some structural wood just from the timber merchants, so you're probably talking maybe about £20, something like that, 
and uh, that's how I've made my full pull out bed so I'll just put this back down for you that's it, that's straight back down that's it, access is nice and easy in case it's ever needed and then within seconds you've got your cushions back on Sofa bed back again, nice and neat looking. I say I might get these covers reupholstered at some point anyway, but at the moment I just needed it operational, and that's working fine for me. So I say that's how I've made my full cut uh, pull-out bed, uh, made into a double and or a single, whatever you need it to. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, by all means have a look at my channel. I'm converting this high top and I'm documenting every single job that I'm doing on it everything from utility area, smev, carpeting, fridge insulation, bed everything's getting covered on there so have a look at my channel uh, feel free to do the usual YouTube stuff as well if you found the video useful please rate it, subscribe and uh, always as I say check my channel for other useful videos thanks for watching, cheers <laughs>